readers, have you been in a play or musical before? My friends and I tried out for our school musical, The Wizard of Oz, and guess what? I was picked to play the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm so excited and can't wait. I've seen the movie, The Wizard of Oz, tons of times, but now I'm reading the script for my musical very closely because I really want to nail her character. I've been studying how the Wicked Witch acts and talks so that I can play her character just right. I'm paying close attention to the things she says how she treats others and other details about her. I want to really get to know her. We do this when we read any story with a character in it. We especially pay close attention to the main characters because they have a big impact on the story. When you really want to get to know a character, you study how he or she acts and feels and thinks. You can begin to analyze or examine that character. This is called character analysis. Let me show you what I mean. Take the Wicked Witch, for example. When I look at her, I can describe the way that she looks. She wears all black, has a green face with a wart on her pointy nose, and flies on a broom. But when I want to really get to know her and analyze her character, I don't focus on what she looks like on the outside. Instead, I focus on what she says, what she does, how she feels, what she thinks, and what she wants. Sometimes it helps to create a character map to help me fully analyze a character, like this. After reading the Wizard of Oz script for my musical, I know that the Wicked Witch wants the ruby red slippers that Dorothy is wearing because they have magical powers in the land of Oz. She's willing to do anything to get them. She thinks that if she can trap Dorothy, she can steal the slippers off her feet. I think she feels jealous and angry that Dorothy has the ruby slippers. The slippers used to belong to her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East, before she died. And now she wants them for their power. She says things like, give me the ruby slippers and I'll get you my pretty, in a very nasty tone when Dorothy doesn't give her the slippers. She also has a wicked cackling laugh. Throughout the story, the Wicked Witch does mean things to Dorothy and her friends, the Lion, Scarecrow, and Tin Man. Like when she sets the Scarecrow's straw on fire or tries to capture them in the force with her flying monkeys. She also traps Dorothy in the dungeon of her castle. And to make matters worse, she'll appear and disappear out of nowhere. After I've completed my character map, I can think about character traits that best describe her. Take a look at this list of common character traits. Do you see any that you think would best describe the Wicked Witch? I think cruel and sneaky and terrifying are all character traits that describe the Wicked Witch of the West really well. She's cruel because of how she acts towards Dorothy and her friends. She's sneaky because she always appears and disappears in a cloud of red smoke. And she's terrifying because she is always scaring Dorothy and her friends. When I write my character analysis, I'll be sure to use these words along with examples from the story to give a full analysis. It might sound something like this. The Wicked Witch of the West is very cruel and sneaky. She often appears out of nowhere and treats Dorothy and her friends terribly because she wants the magical powers that come from the ruby red slippers. She terrifies everyone she meets by appearing and disappearing in a cloud of red smoke. She threatens Dorothy and her friends and tries to capture them in order to get the ruby red slippers. The Wicked Witch of the West is a very mean character. Pretty good analysis, don't you think? Let's review. When you want to really get to know a character, you can do a character analysis. You study what the character says and does how they feel and think, and identify what they want. Then, you think of character traits that best describe the character based on your study of them. When you do a character analysis, you want to include those character traits, as well as evidence from the text to support each trait in your analysis. Hmm, after analyzing the Wicked Witch character, I really feel like I know her. I think I'm ready to play the part. Now I just need to practice my cackling.